want your flashlight? You want your flashlight? YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. This video right here is about a crazy ass woman who basically gets so mad that her husband exposes her for cheating on him that she tears up the house. Not him, she tears up his house. So evidently, I guess the house was in his name. You could tell it's a man's pad because everything around there looked manly. Ain't no feminine stuff nowhere, kind of like here, right here, except for my little flowers back then. I love plants. But anyway, this guy basically confronts his wife about her cheating and she do the unthinkable and i ain't talking about the alicia keys she basically just start ripping this man clothes up tearing up his whole damn house and i gotta ask a question to you women why when you all get mad the first thing y'all do is, is go grab a guy clothes either you cut him up with scissors or you set him on fire or you put bleach on him now how would you feel if somebody go grab some of them cheap ass clothes that some of y'all buy from the dollar tree and i don't even think they sell clothes or you get from goodwill or fred's or one of these damn cheap places and start tearing that shit up you see what i'm saying i don't understand that it's a difference between being mad and angry than just being a goddamn child you think i'm finna sit up here and number one she's the one wrong he's not wrong he didn't do anything wrong for all we know he was probably at home or he was at work taking care of Ben because he got a nice little pad for himself he called out a, he called out a nice little piece for himself now did she come and add anything to that i doubt it because i'm gonna tell you something what i found out uh nine times out of ten if a woman worked for something she ain't gonna be too quick to tear it up so that's his stuff now was they separated or she had her own place and she was over there visiting him i don't know but if that was her stuff i guarantee you she would have toned it up tore it up like that now this got to remind you of something right here we see a lot of uh quote unquote women uh black women tearing up people's stuff and acting a fool also but you got to understand fools come in all colors shapes and sizes it don't matter what color a person is if they're going to act crazy they're going to act crazy so you need to understand it also so you need to understand that also because it don't matter what color you are, how big and how small you are. When a person want to act a damn fool, guess what they're going to do? They're going to act a fool. And it's up to you to accept that or move on. But even 
after the fact that she was busted for cheating, what she should have done is either said, I'm sorry, or left, or went somewhere and sat her ass down. But to sit up here and tear that man's shit up, it shows you she didn't have no respect for him anyway. And that's probably the reason why she cheated. Because she don't have no damn respect for you. Because I'm telling you something. If you fellas, you ain't got no respect in your house, that woman was subject to do anything to you. You know, I done been there, done that before. Also, while I was with someone, and, you know, they'll get mad because you telling them about their sales. Like, how how you going to get mad when you the one out here doing shit, when you the one trying to set me up? You know, how you going to get mad at me? How you going to send your homegirl at me like I'm a damn fool, like like I'm stupid or somebody. Like, I ain't never seen you and this big-ass girl together nowhere, but that's a different story. I'll tell y'all later on about that. It's, 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 it's funny. But anyway, so what you would have done, fellas, that's why I want to know, because I like to be direct. What you all would have done if that was your quote-unquote crazy ass wife what would you have done if she would have started just tearing up all your good stuff it didn't matter if you had your good pair of shoes to your jordans to your damn gators or whatever how would you feel i know i would have went to hell off i probably would have grabbed the ass by my arm and slung out my house and then called the cops you know i would have made sure that camera on but you ain't finna, i'm not gonna sit there and watch you tear my damn shit up i work too hard for my stuff you know what i'm saying i work too hard for my stuff to let anybody come tear it up i wouldn't even let my damn dog tear it up he, he he'll get it too you know so what, what you expect from a human being, you know, when you sit up here knowing basically what it is that you're doing. This is why you have to be careful who you be with. And see, I believe in the shit test, you know, and I have to confess. I believe in the shit test. You have to put people through certain tests. And the reason why I say that is to show if they're worthy because not everybody is worthy of your love, boo-boo. Not everybody is worthy of your love or your time. And for to me, time is precious. Time is my life. Time is like blood. You know, and if I'm willing to give you my blood, a.k.a. my time, which is a metaphor because I like to use metaphors, you know, I deserve the utmost respect. I deserve the utmost loyalty. You know, you ought to look at me as a king just like I look at you as my queen. If you can't do that, get the hell out of my house because guess what? Well, guess what? I would not be staying in nobody's house without my, without my name being on the lease without it being mine. I did that shit when I was younger. No, you better get your own place. That way, so when somebody tell you to get get out, you like, hell no, this is my house. You got to go. I pay these bills. You know, you don't you don't know who on this lease. You want me to call this landlord over here right now? He don't like your ass in a goddamn way. Because he came over here one day and you had the kitchen smoking trying to fry bacon. You know, shit like that. So you have to make sure... Your ducks in order, as my uh, grandma would say, because granny dropped a lot of knowledge. You know, granddaddy just sit there and be chilling. He only come with the real later on. But grandma was that G, you know, on, on both sides of the family. You know, that's one be like, watch your back. And uh, it must have paid off because I'm up here talking to you all now. But you have to be a crazy ass man, weak, really, to sit up here. And, and, and it would, I would have said the same thing if it was a woman watching the man tear her shit up, call the cops. That's what they're there for. If a person is already cheating on you and then come tear your whole goddamn house up, they don't have no love or respect for you. So why are you going to sit up here and hold back for them? I don't want the police to arrest them. I don't want them. They might get shot. You need to get shot in your ass. Now, I wouldn't want you to die just because you cheat and I confront you. You told my shit up. I still wouldn't want you to lose your life. I would love for them to pop a cap in your ass, though. You know, not not to make it go through. Just make it go through the little, uh, the little outer part. Just make it go through. That. I don't want to hit no bone or anything. You know, I just want you to learn a lesson. You know, I want you to feel the pain I feel. You know, then you can go on by your business. Because I'm like this. Once you cheat on me, you might as well keep cheating because it ain't no coming back because once this door closes it don't reopens you know i put the lock on the door because i don't give a damn you know i'm like td jakes i got the gift of goodbye i believe in saying goodbye and that's what they should have did a long time ago because trust me if she feel this way and she's willing to go to that extreme the love and the respect been gone don't nobody wake up one morning and start tearing your shit up don't nobody wake up one morning and start cheating on you they been had this in their heart. It just to the point where it's not manifested. But the sign's been there the whole goddamn time. Can I preach? Now, I'm not going to do that today. But I'm trying to tell y'all this right here. If you want to have a good relationship, get somebody that is on one accord with you. Somebody that, you know, when you're about to say something, they might say the same thing. You might finna say cat. They say cat. Then you might say, you want to go out to eat? They might say the same thing. Or they'd they be thinking the same thing. You know, well, let's go over here. And you're like, wow, I was thinking the same thing. Get you somebody like that where you can be on one frequency, on one accord. That's what it means. You know, and, and, and it's true. It's like that. It's love like that. You know, because this right here is a waste of time. And it would have your ass sitting somewhere in jail 
trying to, well, in the hospital first, trying to get your foot out of her ass, and then probably going to jail because you done told her rectum up. You know, so think about that, fellas, before you let anybody into your house and, be, and before you try to wife up anybody because every woman ain't wife material just because they got some breasts in her ass, you know, some in a vagina. It's just like every guy with a penis ain't husband material. You better get you something real and let the fake go. Anyway, we're going to end it right there because it's a crying shame. And I hate to see that guy place toe up like that because I'm looking at my shit like, I wish a, you know what would. Anyway, make sure y'all hit that like button. Till next time, stay blessed. Find somebody real that's going to love you and respect you and treat you right. It's been your boy Trey. I'm out.